Detention. Tell. That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako. Killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been kidnapped! Oh, Ricky! I'll save you! I'm coming, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! You can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? Out of school, find our boyfriend. And beat the life out of whoever took him. Good plan. Thanks. I just came up with it. Whoa, you are like crazy smart, Misako.
Don't let those girls out of here. I wonder who sent us that text message. Yeah. Huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? To find out who sent us that text. Oh, yeah! It says, uh, Blocked Caller. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course, it would be blocked. Oh, you know it? Come on. It's those girls. Thought I smelled something. Hasabe! Mommy! Hey, Misako. Shouldn't you two be in detention or something? We broke out. OMG, seriously? I was joking. And I'm ditching my school to hang out here. Have you two seen Kunio or Ricky? Just like every day. Every night, actually. They've been kidnapped! I got a text! That must be so special for you. Sorry, girls. Haven't seen them, but we'll, like, so let you know the second we do. Right, Mommy? Oh, for sure. Thanks. We gotta go beat up more people now. Laters. They're crazy. No. Oh? They think they're dating Kunio and Ricky. What? They better not be! Relax. Their brains are just broken. I'd be a lot more broken if they ever touch my Ricky! <laughs>
students. Today, we're going to learn about puberty. Puberty? But I don't know what that is. That's because you're ignorant, Timmy. Puberty stands for punching until bricks explode right towards you. Wow. Now do you understand? Not at all. Well, let's see if we can find someone to help pound the knowledge into your tiny brain. Holly G, is that a bobo? Glad to meet you, Timmy. You're so huge. All thanks to puberty. With enough effort, you can get as big as me. Give it a try. Which way are we headed? Downstairs. We'll exit through the front. Yeah. Great plan. I just hope Miss Susie's not here today. Oh, jeez, what if she is? Are you gonna let a 300-pound security guard stand between you and Ricky? No.
kind of security. Maybe she's on break. Uh-oh. Suzu. Yeah, we don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Ha ha! You scrawny runts couldn't hurt a fly. No way. Flies are easy to hurt. As part of the school defense force, it's my job to keep idiots like you from sneaking out of class. But you don't even go to this school. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to earn extra money! Eep. Don't act like you're smarter than me. I've been in high school for seven years. Ain't nobody smarter at school stuff than Masuzu! I don't care how big or how dumb you are. We're getting out of the school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky. So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work. Ugh, that's it, you little turds. Time to get flushed! Get over here! sign of security. Maybe she's on break. Uh-oh. Out of our way, Masuzu! Yeah! Get over here! Stop! 
heels so I can smack you! are tougher than you look. Give me a real workout. I'd rather give you a hug, FYI. Stay down. Don't make us fight you again. Got a real mouth on you. Must be why Kunio likes you. Have you seen Kunio? And Ricky? Yeah, but not around here. I saw them both in Crosstown yesterday, talking to someone creepy looking. Good luck finding your little boy toys. I'm surprised they'd be interested in a pair of twigs like you two. Hey, is that a compliment, or...? Boys hate scrawny little bugs. They want a woman with meat on her bones. And I got all the meat. If you find Kunio and Ricky, you tell them Masuzu says, Hi. <laughs> Ew. Come on, Kyoko. Sorry for punching you so much.
get out of that crappy school. For sure. You wanna go see a movie? We're looking for our boyfriends, remember? Oh yeah! We should ask if they wanna go too. Let's go find that creepy guy. head off. Oh, I'm no creep. I'm Godai. Is that supposed to mean something to us? We've been neighbors since third grade. Oh, yeah. Hey, Masako. It's that creepy guy who lives down the street from you. Oh, yeah. Didn't you get kicked out of your school for taking secret photos of the girls' volleyball team? Who, <laughs> me? <laughs> uh, anyway, nice weather, right? You, you catch that recent sports game? What do you want, Godai? I've been watching you two. See? Ew. And I think I can help. You're looking for Ricky and Kunio, right? Well, I keep tabs on everyone. You know who took my Ricky poo? Not yet, but I will soon. In the meantime, you help me, and I'll help you. What do you want? For starters, I'm pretty hungry. Go get me a double Merv burger. Stop being lazy. Yeah, it's just down the street. Exactly. Bring me a double Merv burger and you will be handsomely rewarded. Miladies, because I'm so handsome. Get it?
let me know if you want anything. Sure, I guess. Sure, I guess. Let me know if you want anything. That's all you're going to buy?
your burger. Ah, broiled beef of the gods. I'm never eating fast food again. We got your dumb burger. Now what do you know about Kunio and Ricky? Boy, that hit the spot. Okay, you mentioned they were talking to someone creepy looking. No, we didn't, actually. How did you... Well, you know, word gets around. Anyway, my guess is they were talking to Yamada. Who's that? A kid from Reiho High School. Or he used to be, anyway. Before he started practicing the dark arts. That's not a thing. It's totally a thing. Yamada usually hangs out at the mall. Go see if he's there. Thanks. Let's get out of here, Misako. Good luck. And keep an eye out for your old pal, Godai. Maybe we can help each other out again. I'll be around. What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Beat up the world, dude.
Getcha. Still hungry? Welcome. Hope you're hungry. Drop by any time. <laughs> Dang, it's locked. Kick the door in. But whoa, hey there. <laughs> Hang on, that might not be necessary. Yeah, but it's fun. Your name's Hiroshi, right? You remembered me. I took your lunch money once. Yeah. <laughs> water under the bridge. Anyway, the mall is supposed to be open, but that security guard, Pattinson, must be asleep at home again. How do we get inside? Just hang out here for a while. He'll eventually wake up and come to work. What? No, we need to get in there now. We have reasons, important ones. Hey, me too. The latest issue of Cosmic Mega Babes just got released. And if you think I'm gonna download the digital manga version, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. I don't know what any of that means. Where's this guard live? North Ravine Lane. But I wouldn't recommend waking him. I, uh, I tried that once. Thanks, Hiroshi. We'll be right back.
back to the mall. Now open these doors so we can start shopping. Squee! No, but... Kyoko, just a few stores. Remember, Ricky? <sighs> okay, let's go find that spooky Amada guy.
Oh, hello. Please come in.
Yoshi. Did you get your Space Girls comic book thingy? Uh, Cosmic Mega Babes? Yeah, but they only had the standard edition cover. Ugh. I could barely bring myself to read it three times. We can't find Yamada. Anywhere else he might be? He also hangs around the construction site. But if you go there, be careful. Why? Because it's a construction site. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks and stuff. Anytime! I mean, like, literally anytime. My life is pretty boring. Shopping. 
thing. Construction site? It's so yucky. Yo, Magic Boy! You up there? My name's not Magic Boy! He's up there. Come on, let's go beat some info out of him. Welcome to my lair. This is a rooftop. Yeah, not even a finished one. It, rooftops can be lairs. Whatever, we're looking for Kunio and Ricky. That big girl said you hang out with them, do ya? <laughs> As if. Those guys are losers. What did he say about my Ricky poo? Chill, Kyoko. I'll chill this guy's face! Relax, I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were. A long time ago. What's happening? Oh, it's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada! We were just kids then. I was ten years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Is this gonna take long? I was sure I'd never make another friend. But, as we unpacked, this boy across the street said hello. His name was Kunio, and he seemed... nice. He is nice. Now where is he? Is Ricky in the story? Kunio and I became best friends. We read comics together, watched TV, played intergalactic space rangers. Life was good. Aw, see, that's sweet. Only because Kunio's in it. Then one day, a girl transferred to our school. Her name was Hasabe, and she was an angel. It was the first and last time I ever fell in love. Hasabe, oh, I can't stand her. Yeah, she's sort of the worst. I ran to the park after school that day, excited to tell my best friend Kunio about the girl I would soon marry. Wait, aren't you like 10? Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. But when I got to the park, Kunio was already there. 
and so was Hasabe. Oh, dang, that's hecka sad. Or Kunio, maybe. That trash girl never deserved him. That night, I decided I would get my revenge. On Kunio, on Hasabe, on everyone. I turned to the dark arts to become stronger. That's creepy. I don't like scary things. Wrap it up, Merlin. Then later, in middle school. Okay, we get it, jeez. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same day. But thanks to the dark arts, I would never again be... Okay, wait up. Love of your life? He you barely met the girl. Did he even meet her? Wait, yeah, did you even meet her? Love needs no introduction. That's not how love works. Listen, freak show. I don't care about your childhood, your crush on trash queens, or any fakey magic tricks you learned. We're looking for Kunio. And Ricky. And Ricky. So either tell us who took him, or stop wasting our time. <laughs> you girls are all the same. We look nothing alike. Always insulting me. Always treating me like dirt. You look like dirt. You know? Part of why I learned the dark arts was to meet girls. Looks like that's about to pay off. Ew. It's about to get dark. Ladies, welcome to my... I was 10... I lost the love of my life and...
Ugh, I suck. Stay down! Don't try any more of that magic crap on us. Yeah, cause it's spooky! Seriously, I can't even watch horror movies. <laughs> Never thought I'd get beat up by a pair of girls. I could have guessed it. We won the battle, so tell us where our boyfriends are! I have no idea. Why does this keep happening? You really have no idea? We miss him pretty bad. Try Uptown. Sometimes I hang out there after school. How do you know that? I hang out on top of a building all day, remember? I see lots of things. That's weird. And sad, but whatever. See you later, creepy.
and fight me! What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Deadly! Go beat up the world, dude! Bro, Seth, you ready to break a leg? Deadly! Get in my dojo and fight me! My brother!
Huh? Seems pretty fancy. And expensive. And judgy. We don't belong here, do we? No, we do not.
it's you two again. I got another mission for you. This time it's that pompous mayor of ours, always acting like he runs River City. Psh. You seen that hideous golden statue they built of him? Well, I want it gone. Destroy it, and I'll reward you. Controller Olay.